How's it going guys? It's Reed Junkie here and as many of you may know uh, the May Google security update patch I guess you could say for Nexus devices and lots of other ones actually has just been released and I went ahead and I'm like alright we gotta just do this right and we gotta get past factory set protection on this any new f security features they're using nah, don't mean nothing so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you on my Nexus 6P a process to get past factory set protection on the latest May 1st security update, which is like two days ago. Um, this process should also work on a Nexus 5X, this one I got right here. Actually, check that case out. That's pretty sweet right there. Buddy of mine made me that. Thing's awesome. Uh, actually, it's a Google case with the button on it, but uh, the design, the graphic was from one of the guys online. Um, and then Nexus 6P, this should work on the Nexus 6. Um, pretty much any of the current software out there, it's going to get around it, specifically on Nexus devices, though. Some of these tricks you could probably use on other devices as well, as they're pretty common uh, FRP tricks to get past different security things and escalate in privileges. So, that being said, let's go check this out and do this right. Here we are once again on the Nexus 6P and stuck on the factory set protection screen, right? You guys have seen enough of these videos. Well, this device right here is on the May 1st security patch, the security patch that just got released. Um, and you can see I'm tripped on factory set protection. So, we're going to show you the method to get around this today. Yeah, it's pretty fun, I know. You've seen it, a lot of these steps are going to be the same, but I'm going to show you the specific way to do it and hopefully helpful for some of you. So, first thing you're going to need is you're going to need either a router or a Wi-Fi hotspot um, and you need to connect to it. I use my Wi-Fi hotspot on my phone right here and it's what I'm connected to right now and then I'm going to actually kill it at just the specific right moment. I'm going to turn my little switch off on my phone and we'll bypass that screen and let us get deeper. And you've seen this probably before. So. Let's go ahead and connect, and as soon as it says checking for updates, just turn it off, and then hit next. And this may happen, sometimes it takes a couple tries for it to actually connect correctly and actually skip that part, so we'll keep doing it until we get it. So I turn it back on on my phone and we'll try it one more time. There we go. Third time is the charm, and now you're past it. So, from here, the next step that you're going to want to do is go ahead and hit next. Um, and we're going to actually set up a pin. I'm not sure this is really super important, um, but I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm going to hit next and hit a pattern. Say, no thanks for that. Just put in a quick pattern of a Z. just makes it easy. Oop. There we go. Confirm show notifications and then here we are right here so go ahead and turn your uh, hotspot back on on your your phone or your router however you're doing that process so you can connect one more time all right so there you can see my wi-fi connected again so we should be able to click on the policies this should come up we'll go to share features once again we'll do share we'll hold down on google gmail we'll go to notifications we'll come up here to app settings and we'll go up here to manage accounts continue and we're in settings so this is a good sign so now we're gonna come down here to Google now at this point you can't just wipe data back uh, factory reset because there's no Google account added and that will just keep the other one locked so we can't do that process so we gotta go in here to Google and search and now and then now cards and hit this one to turn them on and you can see this opens the Google now so hit no thanks and now you can do a search and we should be able to search for Chrome and you can see the app open so now you can go into Chrome and hit accept no thanks got it type in my site root junkies sdl.com and we'll go over there and we're going to download the application. Oh, man, I did it wrong again. I did it wrong in my last video, too. What needs a Y there? There we go. And we'll go down here to Applications, and we'll install uh, the correct application, or we'll download it, I should say. It won't actually install here, but I'll show you the way around that. 
So we're going to download this one, which is the quick shortcuts. Hit allow. Hit OK. And it's downloading. When it's done downloading, sometimes it has a pop-up that tells you you can install it there. But it's not going to. So we're going to go back. We're going to go back. Back. Just keep going back slowly. Um, go to now cards again. No thanks. This time search for download. And you can open it, downloads. And then you should be able to install it from here. So it's blocked in unknown sources. So we're just going to go in here and turn it back on. Go back. Hit it again. This time it should let us install. There we go. Accept. Yeah, as you can see, maneuvering around this thing is not an issue doing this. Uh, go ahead and hit open. Do our search for the Google account manager. And just do manager and it'll come up. There it is. And then hit that one to drop it down. Go to the type email and password. Hit try. Go up here. Sign in in browser. Hit OK. <laughs> and now I've already signed in with a specific Gmail account on this device. That's where it was, how it was locked under. I'm going to sign in to right now with my wife's Gmail account. So let me do that. And that's an account that's not been synced to this device before. All right, so it's checking it, and it should be adding the account, and then it shoots back to the screen. All right, so at this point, the easiest thing to do is to just back all the way out, and you have an account that is synced to the device at this point. So you should be able to go in here and factor reset, wipe data factor reset from here, and it will actually remove factor reset protection because you linked an account, and now when you wipe data from here, you should be able to set it up normal again. And we'll go in here and wipe data factor reset. So let me do that. I'm just covering up my wife's account right there. And then we'll say reset device. And then we'll put in our password. And then we'll re erase everything. And this time, because we added the account, when it finishes wipe data factor reset, we'll be in. We'll be able to add any account we want, the account we just added, if we want, like my wife's account, um, or I think any account. It might be specific to my wife's account because that was the last account that was added, but I don't think so because we used the password and we wiped from in here. I think it'll just let us add, enter any account at that point. Um, so I'm going to let it reboot. Now, I just got to tell you this because I think it's hilarious. I reported a whole bunch of these escalation methods, as I would call them, to Google like four months ago. And as you can see, they told me these were not security risk. And... I'm showing you, I think they are. What do you guys think? Is this a security risk to be able to share things, to be able to escalate privileges? I've shown Google all these methods and they don't seem to care. They want to block the specific, like, you know, turning on developer options or something basic. But if you can get in, you can keep manipulating, eventually you're going to get somewhere. So, yeah, on that note. So we're going to let this thing factor reset and finish and see what happens when it boots up. All right, so here we go. We are booted up. Let's go ahead and go through the setup process. Skip. Let's go ahead and add uh, an account. I'll go back to my phone. And we're going to go ahead and connect. So you should be able to see it connecting there in a second. There we go. And it's going to check connection. And we'll see if it will let me just log in directly or if I have to put in my wife's email account. I think it's just going to let me add an account at this point, but we're going to find out. Checking info. All right, so device was reset, sign in with previously synced account. So my previously synced account would be my wife's email. Um, so I'm going to sign in with that and see if that gets me in. All right, so it's checking that information, and I'm going to see if it let me in. So, so far, it looks like it's going to. Let's see what, what we got here. Because we added that through the browser, it actually sunk it to the device. So I think you're seeing it, yeah. <laughs> and no thank you. Skip anyway. Uh, I'm going to say set up new. Done. Google, yeah, sure, why not? Google now. And it's restoring. So as you can see, there we go. We are in. All right, so did you follow it? Did you catch it all? It, it came up with that same screen, but I was allowed able to put in my wife's account, um, which is the one I added through the browser. 
So it added it to the device. I factory reset it. It said it still was locked with that FRP, but I could then sign in with that account. So that's pretty cool. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Um, this should work on Nexus 6, Nexus 6P, like this device. Oh, oh well, I got to show you. Oh, Nexus 5X on older security patches as well as this one. So it's a pretty universal method. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you my build number just to prove to you what I am on. So we're going to go in here. We're going to go to About Phone. And there it is. May 1st security patch, Android 6.0.1, Nexus 6P. Yeah. Yeah. Take that, Google. <laughs> Take that. All right, guys. That's going to wrap it up for me. Um, stay tuned for more videos. If you have any tips or any discoveries you found of escalation methods, please put them in the comments below. I love reading your guys' comments, especially on this topic, as this thing's really interesting me a lot lately. Like I'm getting emails and everything. So, or my wife is actually, should say. But stay tuned for those kind of videos. Um, I'm sure we'll be doing more on FRP, especially if Google doesn't fix their escalation methods. I'm just going to find a new escalation method. So we'll see how that goes. But wraps up for me. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.